What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. In today's video I'll be showing you how to get this green Space Ranger helmet on the latest patch 1.50 in GTA 5 Online. First off I want to apologize for being away from you guys for months. I've uh, just been working and just doing me. But now that I'm back I'm here to show you guys a brand new glitch on how to get this Space Ranger helmet and also the blue paramedic outfit on the girl character. So without further ado, first we're going to show you guys how to get the blue paramedic outfit on the girl character. You will need this outfit because the top hat for that outfit will allow you to get this green Space Ranger helmet on the guy character. So hope you guys enjoy this video and just leave a like and make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys. Love y'all. Alright guys, first off, you'll be going to your girl character. If you don't have a girl character, make sure to make one. And then, you want to click in the description and download this job and bookmark it. It'll be down in the description. It's by Husky. It's the blue paramedic only outfit. Once you start that up in your bookmark jobs, you want to just invite one person because all it is is just need two people and once you invite either a friend or somebody that you are with online have them join you and then you can start it up so right here I just invited one of my buddies and then he's joining me and then once he joins just click play Alright you guys, once you have started up the mission, you'll see that you spawn in first with the free mode outfit that you had on. But once it's, the mission is fully started, they'll give you the blue paramedic outfit on the girl character. Once that's happened, you want to hurry up and open up your interaction menu, go to style, then go to accessories, and then go to gear and then switch once to the left. After it's happened, you want to open up your phone and just leave the job straight away. So then you'll be spawning back into a normal GTA 5 online session. As soon as that's happened, you see the spawn right on the ground or you spawn in a car as I did in this video. And you get out of the car and you'll see you spawning with the blue paramedic outfit. So right there you see the blue paramedic outfit on the girl character and also the blue paramedic hat that you'll need to transfer to the guy character. So right now, you want to not even you don't even have to save it. You can just go right to story mode. And then we'll be right back once we spawn into story mode. Hey, I'm going, man, before you take advantage. Once you spawn into story mode, you just want to go right to director mode. And as soon as you go to director mode, you want to go to actors, and then you want to go to online characters, and then you want to shortlist your first. GTA 5 online character, your guy character. The guy character will be the one you get the Space Ranger helmet on the latest patch 1.50 in GTA 5 online. But before that, you also want to make sure you see the blue paramedic outfit on the girl character. And then you want to select her. So then you'll be taking her right into director mode. So you wait till you land load into the director mode. Once you load it in, just wait about a few seconds. After you wait about a few seconds, then you want to go leave and go back to the returning casting trailer. Once you return the casting trailer, now you want to shortlist your online character of the guy. And then you want to go to the animals and also shortlist any of the birds. And in this video, I sh shortlisted the seagull, but you can also shortlist the pigeon or the chicken hawk. So right there I shortlisted the seagull then I go to online characters and shortlist my guy character. Now you can see I already have the space ranger helmet but I will also be showing you how to get it anyways. Once you shortlist them both you want to go back to story mode and then you will go back and go to a normal GTA 5 online session with your guy character. So we're right back when we that all happened.
Alright you guys, once you have spawned in with your guide character, you want to hurry your way to a nearby clothing store. So we'll be right back when we get to this clothing store. Alright, once you've arrived at the clothing store, you just want to head inside and then go right to the straight to the desk. You want to press right on the D-pad and then you want to go to outfits and standard and then just put on the sunbather. Then next you want to take off any accessories like glasses, mask, hats, parachutes, and in this case I took off the glasses and the parachutes. Then after you have done that, you'll see the orange loading symbol on the bottom of the screen and then you want to just head out and then go right to a, any time trial that's on the map. Make sure you use one of the street vehicles because you cannot use your own personal vehicle in a time trial. So right here is where my time trial is and we'll be right back once I arrive there. Alright you guys, once you have arrived at the time trial, you want to just drive and just sit on top of the time trial. As soon as you sit on top of it, you want to just press right on the D-pad to start up the time trial. And right away you want to hit down on the D-pad and then choose any story mode character like Michael, Franklin, or Trevor. In this case I chose Franklin. As soon as you go to the story mode, you want to wait till they're done talking. As soon as that happens, you want to open up the interaction menu and go straight to director mode. After you have launched into director mode and you're in the casting trailer with Franklin, Michael, or Trevor, you want to go straight to the shortlist characters and then you want to do the duplicating glitch by going back and forth with your Seagull and your GTA 5 online character. So in this case you see me going back and forth from my guy character back to the Seagull, to the guy character and back to the Seagull. And the easiest way to do this for me, what I did, was take a rubber band and tie it to my left analog stick, make sure it's pointing all the way down, and tie it around the bottom of my left controller. This takes about 26 minutes to duplicate them fully, and after those 26 minutes, you'll see that your guy character spawns on top of the haystack. As soon as this happens, just do it a few more times, that way in case he does ever return back to the caster trailer, and if he does, the glitch will be wrong. But in this case, you want to keep on doing it so he stays on top of the haystack in order to get the glitch going down right. So right here, we'll be keep on duplicating and getting to that guy character right on the haystack. So we'll be right back when all that happens.
are you guys after duplicating the bird for about 26 minutes you'll finally see that you spawn your GTA 5 online character on top of the haystack after this has happened you know that you've done the glitch right and then you want to just go back and forth again just keep making sure you stay your guy character right on top of the haystack by going back and forth with the GTA 5 online character and the seagull a few more times just to make sure he never returns back to the casting trailer after you've done this a few more times you could just go right and remove your seagull from the shortlist characters and then go back out and then go right to actors and then go to beach bums and then start clicking square on all the outfits so what you want to see modded outfits if you don't see these modded outfits you want to go back to animals and then shortlist your seagull again and go back to shortlist characters and then re-get your back your GTA 5 online character back onto the haystack just to do the glitch properly once again so right here I spawned in with the modded outfit so I want to have to worry about that after that's happened you want to go to recently used characters back out and then you want to see the GTA online character the second which is the girl character you'll see that she's shaking that way you'll know that you're doing the glitch properly once again then you want to go back to actors go to beach bumps and you want to start clicking square again on all the outfits and you want to find three outfits with Christmas mask earlier we switched back to the girl character because you'll see that you spawn with the girl face but a guy outfit so right here I'll find my first mask with the elf mask and then I'll find my second mask with the gingerbread mask and then the third mask I will spawn in with the reindeer mask so after all those we'll be right back and I'll tell you what to do next in the glitch Alright you guys, once you shortlisted the third character, you want to just shortlist any modded outfit, doesn't matter what it is, and then you want to back out and go to your shortlist characters, and then choose that random modded outfit that you shortlisted, and then you want to just take it right into director mode. After you've taken it into director mode, you want to just walk around and just wait it for a few seconds, just to wait for about a few seconds in director mode. After that, you want to take this outfit into story mode. You'll know that you've done the glitch right if you spawn in with the outfit that you just had in director mode. As soon as this happens, you want to just go right back to the director mode. Alright you guys, once you spawn back in the casting trailer, you want to go to shortlist actors and you'll want to go down to all those Christmas mask outfits that you shortlisted earlier and you'll see that each one of them now have the Space Ranger helmet and you are done the Space Ranger helmet glitch properly now once this is done you want to choose an outfit that has no blacklisted components on them and take it right into online so right here you just want to choose one and right here I choose one yes it has invisible legs but when you take it into online those l invisible legs will turn into like sweatpants or something like that so right here take it in the online you want to just take it right into director mode first you want to wait here for a few seconds and after a few seconds then you want to take it into story mode just like how you did with that random modded outfit earlier so right here wait a few seconds in director mode then you want to take it to story mode story mode you want to wait about 30 seconds to a minute so what I did was just run around for a few bit minutes and whatever and then after that you can just take this outfit right into online so we're right back once we go to the next part of the glitch alright you guys once you wait about 30 seconds to a minute you want to open it online now go to invite only session. Make sure you go to invite only session. That way, if somebody killed you, you would lose the outfit. So right here, you spawn in a GTA 5 online session with the Space Ranger helmet. Yes, I have invisible legs, but it will later go to sweatpants. Next, you want to just drive your all the way to a clo nearby clothing store and save the outfit. So right here, I spawn with sweatpants instead of invisible legs, and I just made my way all the way to a clothing store. 
once you made your way to the clothing store you can hurry up and just save the outfit and then I'll show you guys a third glitch yes a third glitch I only was going to show you guys two glitches but I decided to show you guys a third glitch so this is might be called the Space Ranger helmet but it's also a mask so I'll be making my way to an apartment to do the hat mask glitch with the telescope you can either do it with the telescope in your apartment or you can go to a pier and do the telescope from there so right here go into your apartment and run all the way to the side of a telescope once you get beside a telescope you want to make sure you have the space ranger helmet on just like how I have in this video and you want to hurry up and run past the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you press right on the d-pad it's going to glitch out and you know that you've done the glitch right because the mask still stays on while well, space ranger sta helmet stays on you want to get an interaction menu and it just put on any outfit you want to put the space ranger helmet on so right here I'll just do the checkered outfit because I already have it on my green one so we're here and then you just want to walk away and you have the green space ranger helmet on so without further ado thank you guys for watching the video please leave a like please subscribe and turn the notifications on to never miss a video on the later videos coming out love you guys